the awakening. My name is Caleb Leo. Last episode, I started going above the natural and I started from the topic natural. And I said that Adam came into this world, God created him, and then he abused authority, he abused purpose. And because purpose is not known, he abused it, and then he fell, and then the system of the earth failed, and then the world became corrupt, and we are now bound by cause of sickness, cause of eternal death, and cause of poverty. Now, today I'm going to be talking of Wind of Change, chapter 2. Now, you need to get the book for you to get the full picture. Now, God made a promise earlier on in Genesis, chapter 2. He said, the seed of the woman shall bruise the head of the serpent. And then he spoke to prophets ahead of time. He said, the virgin shall bring forth a son, and that shall call his name Jesus, Emmanuel, for he shall deliver his people from their sins. And in Romans, the Bible said, all have sinned or come to the glory of God. He said that from one man's sin entered into the world, as well from another, righteousness comes in. So Jesus now is the lamp. The Bible says, behold, the lamp of God who takes away the sin of the whole world. Jesus is the lamp that came to take away the sin of the world. Now, God's promise to Adam was fulfilled when Jesus came. Now, when Jesus came, he became a substitution for us. He said, I'm going to die for man's sin. I'll be judged for man and I'll die for him. Because God is a just God and so must pay for the crime of Adam. As a matter of fact, our payment is not enough. So Jesus came as God and he became God. He came as man and he died for man. So man don't have to die anymore. He was separated from God so we don't have to be separated anymore. Now, Jesus was separated from God, so we don't have to be separated anymore from him. He became poor so that we will become rich. Now, he also was chastised so we don't fall sick anymore. So he took away our sicknesses as well. So God sent Jesus to be a substitution. The Bible said, cost is he that, that dies on the cross, so on the tree. So he was hanged on the tree. Cost is the man that was hanged on the tree. He was hanged on the trees, and he took that cost, so we don't have to be cost anymore. So Jesus came as a wind of change. He came to cause a change. Nature has been altered. Uh, God needs to rethink the world. So what he needs to do is send a substitution to replace um, the sin of Adam. So he sent a second Adam. And he came perfect. He came as a perfect man. And he lived his life a perfect being. He, he didn't fall into sin. He survived temptation. He overcame temptation. And then he was crucified. And the Bible said he took upon himself our sins. And he hung on the cross for our sin. Because as he's appointed unto a man wants to die next judgment. So Jesus now came and died for us. So we don't have to die anymore or be judged anymore. So he was judged on our behalf. Now, you get the point of Jesus. So, Jesus came as a substitution. He was the lamb that was substituted. And then he took our sins with him. And now we've been set free. We've been set free from the law of sin and death. Now, we are bound by grace. By the grace of the only begotten Son of God. Now, in the next episode, Novel Breed, I'm going to explain to you what happens when a man accepts or believes in this Jesus that was sent. When you believe in him, I'll tell you what happens to you next. And then how this world will get to the perfect state where it ought to be. So that will be in the fourth episode, The Supernatural. So, God bless you richly. Now, before we go off, make sure you subscribe to this channel and do well to share and as well, I want to hear from you, so comment down below. God bless you.